You're watching Zach Pack TV. Hello, YouTubers. Thanks for the follows and thanks for the views. Uh, today, I'm going to be giving you a rundown of a couple of latches that I have in this old house. Uh, this may apply to you if you're you got some old doors that you're trying to install and you can't figure out what latch goes with what door. This should help you and it should help you with the layout. Now this door was never here and I picked this up for next to nothing. And the hardware, actually I had um, already on hand because this door came with the latch. Now what it didn't come with was the part that the latch locks to on the wall side. So I actually had this piece already in one of the rooms in this house that wasn't gonna get used with that particular door. The door was trash, so I brought it down here and installed it with my trim. So this is a new install. And as you can see, it latches great. You can see the beauty of these old latches. This is a rim, this is what's called a rim lock latch and it's different than a mortise latch that's one of the other ones i'm going to be going over today but actually the mortise and rim handles will interchange with each other uh, you don't need the little beauty ring on these you you can do it on the outside but on the inside i got away without having to use it but this is the little beauty ring i'm referring to and that just helps keep everything nice and tight. Um, sometimes you can't avoid the wiggling. Uh, you can tighten them up, but then you're gonna run into issues with opening them. But this is a what's called a rim latch, and it does need lubed up, but it will function once it's lubed up. Thing with the rim latch is it uses a skeleton key, and you can lock it from either side. Uh, the biggest part of this latch is getting this to line up, which is fairly easy. I just had to use my oscillating tool and cut out a little bit of the jam. I used a Sharpie to mark where it was going. And you just use some screws and run it into the uh, wood framing there. And caulk around it and you're good to go. Okay, and the next latch I'm going to be talking about is... The mortise latch. Now I do not have a door here on hand to show you how this works. I have installed these in other homes. Um, sometimes these doors you will find out that they have had a mortise style latch at some point in time and have been eliminated. Like this door here you can see where they just eliminated it all together. But what would happen was this would go into here like that, and then you would have a striker plate. And when you're looking for these striker plates, I recommend getting on eBay and just typing in mortise latch, and you'll just start figuring out all the parts that you're gonna need for that setup, because a lot of times the lots will have all the parts. And the striker latch is it looks just like this. It's a mirror image of this, except for it doesn't have this latch part. It just has a hole right here. And it has a hole here for, this is what I refer to as the deadbolt, which this deadbolt looks like it's never, well, it hasn't been used in a long, quite some time. But there you have your skeleton key, which would turn this here. And that's what I was getting to with the uh, rim latches. The knobs interchange on from mortise to rim. Uh, I'm actually not sure which one came first. I think the, the rim latches came first, but this is where I'm going to use you guys to help me out because I didn't re do a bunch of research just in this old house today and thought I would uh, be able to help someone out that has zero to no knowledge on these. But on this here, this would go somewhere like here. And Usually you, you're going to find these old doors and be like, oh, okay, I got to find one that's, it, it'll have like a, so you can see here the, actually the old skeleton keyhole where this one used to be. And they probably plugged a hole somewhere in here sometime 
or maybe it was, I don't know. I don't know, hard telling. But that plate would screw there and you'd have four screws, short screws that run in there. And you would also have a mirror plate or an exact plate that goes on the back that would go there. But at some point in time, this closet door, or this door has been converted to a closet door, and that's where we're at today. So I just had to find a knob that would actually go into this door, and um, this is what I'm going to be showing you. What I got, I found, I actually found this on eBay, it was new in the pack. And if you're looking for these knobs, I found that Defender Security makes a good repop. So if you're looking for a repop, this is uh, the ticket. And what you do is you have this rod. Now, I've already screwed this in, but this is same length on each side. And then you have a set screw that tightens down, which I've already done. So I put it on there like so. And then I'm going to, this is where I need my tripod really try to do this here show you but then this just screws on like so and well don't cross thread it like I was about to do definitely harder doing this one handed okay so just tighten that down until you get all the play out but isn't that a cool knob for that door and check this out I think that'll be pretty sweet actually it looks like the original handle but then you have these little plates here and i'm not exactly sure what these beauty rings are called maybe that's what they're called but um you're gonna need these to go with this latch or this doorknob if you don't have something like this so if you have something like this you're not going to need that beauty ring those knobs just go right up to that Okay, so here's the latch installed, and this one, particular one, I didn't need it to where it turned, so I just set the set screws like that. And um, actually, if I wanted to, this is another trick you can do. If you're working with a closet door, they have these older steel knobs, which I'll run downstairs and grab one and show you. I could actually just throw one of those back here, which I might do, and use that crystal knob on a different closet that I'm going to be showing you here. So that's another little trick you can do. You can swap these handles out. Um, and a little bit more about this in case you're wondering is it's a two inch diameter knob and you can see there it's glass. There's the model number. If you like that knob in particular, it's like an E, yeah, E2328. Pretty basic, but yeah. I'm gonna show you another about my other lock that I was trying to figure out. And this is, uh, this was coming up as a mortise latch. Anyways, I'm gonna put a screenshot. That might not be right, but I'm gonna put a screenshot of what I found online. There's actually a kit and it comes with a modern day latch like this but it's actually squared right here for a skinny mortise style handle. So you can use an old knob with a modern latch. I mean, some of you door kickers might chime in and say, oh, this is, this is why it was that way. I have no idea. All I can think of is this was the turning of an error when people still wanted to use their old handles, but wanted a new style latch. And then eventually it just went to your modern day handles like this that require, what is it, a two inch? Uh, my uh, things kind of wore out. I can't read on there what, what diameter that is, but I, your modern day handle that you that is standard in all homes today. But as you can see, this latch, um, well, once it's screwed in, all the way I might have to cut it out a little bit more but I'm gonna go ahead and attach attach that photo of what could work here but those are almost non-existent and I would have to buy the latch separate and then get another handle and I already have a modern handle on in on hand and I just feel like this is gonna be a better option for this door since it's already 
been wallered out on this side. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and go through with it. And another little trick here. Sometimes these old doors only use two hinges. So I actually picked this door up and it had already had, someone had already cut this out for an inside. Well, it would have been for an outside mount hinge. But here's another little trick. If you guys don't have those hinges and you wanna make something around the house work, here is a, another trick you can do. You can use a modern day hinge. And you only need two of them, guys. Just because these newer doors have three doesn't mean you gotta use it. I think that was just something that became standard. Maybe because it bowed a little bit or something there in the middle, but this door shuts and closes fine. So just uh, re-drill your holes for your door and use a modern hinge. Just make sure this is flush here and you're good to go. I'll show you the inside here. Oh, it's kind of slam that. Um, this one I didn't have to notch the trim though. So I gotta wait with that. Sometimes those older ones go in a little bit more, so you gotta notch them. Yeah, I hope this video helped you guys and thanks oh as always, thanks for watching.